y'all welcome back to another episode of cooking with Lisa. today i'm gonna be doing a five dollar dollar tree challenge with you guys because i'm tired of people saying that you can't feed a family with you know five dollars because people act like you gotta spend a hundred dollars just to feed a family but anyway today i'm gonna be trying out some items from dollar tree i'm gonna be making some pork teriyaki noodles with it I got this pork loin riblet from Dollar Tree. I was gonna try the steak, but it was looking real interesting, so I decided to not do that. But yeah, I mean, it looked like some seasoned pork, so we gonna try that out. And then they also had some of these little yakisoba kind of noodles. I got two packs of these. I mean, I don't really think you need two packs, but for the purpose of the $5, I bought two packs. And then, um, this little stir fry stir fry blend was in the freezer section one dollar y'all you don't really gotta put that but i feel like if you're gonna feed a lot of people you need to add some substance to it so i got a pack of that and then this is the meal so that's four dollars this all right here is four dollars i had an extra dollar left over so i decided to try these i've never had them never heard of them but we gonna see what they taste like today y'all so this whole total right here is literally five dollars right, so for the first step i'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit of oil in my skillet and i got this skillet on a high heat and for the purpose of this video i'm gonna try to limit my pantry items to just salt uh pepper and oil but i mean if you have extra things obviously you can throw that in there to make it taste better so this little pork loin it's got some barbecue smell to it so i'm not gonna put nothing on it i'm just gonna cook it like it is i guess it got some kind of marinade on it we're gonna see what it tastes like out the pack if you ain't got no seasoning and it's got some bones in it so that's why i didn't cut it up y'all so what i'm gonna do is we just gonna cook this on each side for a few minutes and then i'm gonna come back and show you the next step I'm searing this on this side for a minute and i'm gonna go ahead and flip it now a little piece of it falling off right here that's some interesting pork meat stuff but i'm just praying that it's not like alpaca or something crazy like that y'all but anyway I'm going to get it seared on this side, and then I'm going to come back and show you next step. I got a, a little sear on each side of my little pork riblet. I hope this is pork. I don't know. It's, it's looking interesting. But what I'm going to do now is put a little bit of water. I don't know, like a three-fourths of a cup. And this is just gonna help it cook all the way through because I just wanna make sure that it's completely done. And we're just gonna cook this for about uh, five minutes. So <clears throat> I didn't do nothing to this after I put the water in it. I just let all the water uh, evaporate and stuff. And this is what our little rib is looking like. I mean, honestly, I can't tell you what that smell like. It just smell like some cooking meat, I guess. It don't really smell like pork to me, though. But I am certain <clears throat> that this is thoroughly cooked. But anyway, y'all, I'm going to go ahead and take this out. And then we're going to move on to the next part of our meal. On the package, it said you could uh, cook this for about... I guess I don't know like an hour or so on in the oven I'm not cooking it in the oven though because that just take too long so I'm gonna cut this open and see what it look like it's some little weird pieces of bone in there like it's not like full bones that's the meat y'all it's like I don't know it's tender tender meat Okay, here's one of the bones. So, oh shit, Lord, my bad. But anyway, 
I'm gonna just try to slice it up around the bone part into some decent little slices. So let's see what we can get here. See, it's another little bone right there. I don't know if this is supposed to be a rack of ribs. It can't possibly be. These little bone pieces are so interesting. I'm gonna taste it. Okay. I mean, it just tastes like some meat. It's seasoned. It don't have much salt on it, but it don't taste bad. It tastes like pork. So yeah, just cut this up. Cut with whatever meat you can get off of the little interesting bones. I don't know what section of the pig this is. Whatever. We gonna eat it. We are gonna eat it. Let's pull this meat off of here. I think that's another thing. I mean, I imagine for like a one person little rib. I don't, this is not a record. What is this like baby rat, baby rib or something? I don't know. Whatever. But yeah, y'all, I'm gonna just cut this up. All right, y'all. So this is all the meat that I salvaged from my little pork riblet. I mean, I think this is about enough for two people. Or I mean, if you mix it up, I guess it really don't matter. But anyway, the next step is we're going to take our uh, stir fry blend. And then you could cook this on the stove, but I'm going to cook it in the microwave. And I'm just going to pour. Oh, they actually don't look too bad. These are defrosted, y'all. Okay. That's a nice little serving of uh, vegetables. So they hella soft already. So I'm not gonna boil these. I'm gonna cook them in the microwave so that way we can try to salvage some of this. But yeah. So for the next step, I went ahead and heated up some oil right here. And that is gonna be for our little spring rolls. Now it says you can put these in the microwave or bake them. So if you don't have oil, you do not have to fry them. But I'm gonna fry them because who the hell wants some baked spring rolls? But anyway, for the stir fry, we're gonna take our chow mein noodles and it comes with this little sauce packet. We're not gonna use that right now. So I'm gonna put this and all of our little vegetables, we're gonna put it in there too. The other pack. And I mean, I guess you can just add as many noodles as you need to add. Shit. I'm gonna do two packs. And we just gonna boil these until they are cooked. I mean, let's see what the pack say. It say cook these for five minutes, y'all. So I'm gonna cook these for four minutes and then I'm gonna come back and show you the next step. Our noodles have been cooking for about three minutes. And I'm gonna go ahead and take them out just because I really do not want these to get mushy. So I'm gonna take them out. And then we're gonna um, come back and do the next step. As you can see, it's got like some little cabbage. So there goes some extra vegetables up in there for y'all. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit more oil in my skillet. And I've got my skillet on a high heat right now. Oh, yeah. As you can see, the little spring rolls are coming along nicely. But yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to take... We're gonna take our little pork meat here, throw that in there. And I'm gonna put like half of my vegetables in here cause I wanna leave some for the side or you know, garnish it or whatever. And throw that in there. All right, so I'm just gonna fry this up. And what I am gonna do like I said, I don't want to put a lot of stuff because 
this is supposed to be a five dollar meal and everybody don't have all the pantry items that i have all right i'm gonna flip all these little spring rolls over here anyway what i'm gonna do is put a little bit of salt just a little salt and a little bit of black pepper that's all i got anyway Alright. And we just gonna fry this up real good. You know, get the stir fry flavor going. We don't got no extra seasoning, so you might as well make it taste like it's fried. And honestly, if you had some soy sauce, this probably would be extra fire. But anyway. I think these is done. All right, y'all. Uh oh. So, you know, I'm gonna turn that off. It's all fried up now. Move that over. That actually look good. Five dollars. I don't know why. Let me turn this heat down some. Because I'm not trying to have no fire up in here. What is that? Oh, it's hella oil on that. Ooh. Trying to get me out the paint. Alright, y'all. It's still going to burn, but that's alright. What I'm gonna do, I'll it up a little bit. Oh shit. My bad, we had some technical difficulties. Bro, what the fuck? But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and put a little oil in my skillet. A little more oil. And then we're gonna take our noodles, throw them in the skillet. And this is why I said do not cook them all the way for that five minutes because you do not want these to get extra sticky and soggy. So, now what I'm going to do, excuse my fire alarm, y'all. What I'm going to do now is take my little sauce packets. I'm just gonna squeeze that sauce on the noodles. And I mean, you can probably do chicken flavor or something, but I wanted to do the teriyaki beef because I know it got this little sauce packet in it. Hmm. So now, get a little bit on your uh, vegetables too, so everything gets that flavor action. And we just going to toss this up. Toss it up. I know some of the noodles sticking to the bottom, whatever. Just get all that sauce and everything mixed up. And then, that's the stir fry, y'all. I'm gonna go ahead and plate this up and then I'm gonna come back and taste it for y'all. I would say this is probably enough for like two and a half people. Two and a half men and a kid. But you see, it's got like a nice little bit of toppings and stuff on there. But yeah, y'all. So, I mean, this is enough for me. So, I would say this is about enough for two adults and a kid for $5. And then we got our egg roll action over there. And I only did, uh, was it seven? It was three more left in there, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's 10. But anyway, y'all, I'm gonna take my pictures and then I'm gonna come back and taste this for y'all. So this is the end result of our pork 
noodle stir fry and i lied this is actually enough for like three adults if you include the spring rolls i mean how many spring rolls you gonna eat like i said i still got three left in the pack but yeah y'all i'm gonna go ahead and taste this for y'all and the only thing i did was add some sesame seeds so don't say i went and did nothing extra it ain't what you eat is how you eat it so what i'm gonna do is get a little bit of everything Ooh. I'm gonna try to get a little bit of everything. No, that was the perfect bite, too. Hold on, bitch. You know what? Here, all right. Mm. Mm hmm. That's good, y'all, for real. And you will not even know. Mm -mm. You wouldn't even know that this is donkey meat. It tastes good. I promise I'm not even playing. Mm -hmm. But I like noodles, though. Okay. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Now, these spring rolls, that ain't good. I don't like that at all. I don't like that at all. But the noodles, though, the noodles is good. And this is just some extra. We don't even need that. This is good, y'all. Four dollars, technically, if you get rid of those over there. Four dollars at the Dollar Tree. I would say I approve of the pork ribly meat. It really doesn't taste bad. If you just needed to get some pork, I mean, pork already cheap anyway, but if you just needed to get some pork from Dollar Tree, it ain't weird and discolored and nothing like that. It look like pork. I'm going to assume it's pork. It tastes good. So, y'all, if y'all enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. If you seen anything else at Dollar Tree that you want me to try out for y'all, let me know. But, yeah, please stay tuned for another episode of Cooking with Lister.